Hey, good morning, everybody. We are live right now inside Amazon's brand new store, Amazon Go. Let me tell you what's going on here. So basically, this is a no checkout store. You basically get your app, scan a QR code, the magic door is open, and then you just come and grab whatever you need off the shelves. They've got pre-prepared food, they've got all sorts of beverages, everything you need. Let's see what they got here. Chicken with lentils. Boom. There's breakfast. Once you grab an item like I just did, it charges your account. But I didn't want that, so I put that back. Will it charge my account? It says it does not. They hand you these little orange bags and then you just fill it up and go. It's been very busy here this morning. A lot of tech fans, television news agencies, everybody here to record this momentous occasion. Nothing like this has ever been attempted. Because how do you track this? How do you make sure that you're getting charged for what you want? That guy, he doesn't want this sandwich. He's going to put it back. Hopefully he doesn't get charged for it. I was told that these sensors up here have something to do with this magical technology. I'm not sure. Don't ask me how to explain it. It's pretty good. What I really like about our personal Amazon Go store here is that they've brought in a lot of local companies. You can see Blaze and Bagels, uh, Macrina Bakery is here, as well as they've wrapped up their Whole Foods line. As you know, Amazon just required Whole Foods, and now you're starting to see their line in this store as well, Amazon Go. Um, there are people here in these nice orange jackets who are helping explain what's going on, how to buy things, what to buy, and they've got a variety. You need some Lay's potato chips? No problem. You want something a little healthier, like Dave's bread? There you go. There's also a section for souvenirs. This is their Amazon Go souvenir section, which is obviously already being restocked because it's very popular. Just walk out shopping is what they call it. They even have meal kits, like full meal kits. You can come down, grab what you need, and head out the door this morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, Mike saying, would, wouldn't mentioning city and state extra cool for something. Yeah, that would be very cool. Um, the big question we all had was, they sell alcohol as well. So how do you handle that? If somebody wants to come in and buy alcohol, but they're under 21, well, somebody right here, as you can see, checking IDs to make sure no underage drinkers are happening, everything is in compliance. What's great about this is the ease of it. If you have to grab some milk, maybe you need some ready whip or your creamer for the day. All you do, come in, grab it, and go. See, other people are filming. Hi there, how you doing? <laughs> so, as you can see, this is the first system they've ever tried here at Amazon. This was initially supposed to launch about a year ago. They ran into some technical difficulties. Uh-oh, I need this cheese. Hold on. This is my favorite cheese. So basically, this technology was being worked on about two years ago before they finally got it locked down. It's supposed to open in 2017, now 2018, January, we're starting to see this. I would say it's a smaller store, probably about the size of two 7-Elevens put together, really. The dried goods, there's a limited variety of dried goods. I saw Band-Aids, so there's a small section for housing essentials. But they really seem to be focusing on the food that you can just grab for the day, freshly made stuff. Here's our wrap line. You can see some of the stuff is being made right now. And of course, the big question is, what about people who work in grocery stores? Is this a threat to them? Obviously, when you have nobody at the checkout line, you go in and you come out. Does that mean we're going to be losing jobs? Well, I will tell you this. There is a kitchen. I'm going to have to walk around and see it. I can't. All right, I have to leave the store. There's a kitchen where several staff members are preparing all these foods. Salads, uh, veggie cups, protein boxes, um, all sorts of foods. So they are working here hard. And so Eric is asking me, how do you pay for things? Okay, so this is how I'll try to explain it. Basically, all you do is you scan your code, download the app, scan the QR code, and walk in. Somehow the technology 
knows what you picked up. We go up there. Hey, how are you? Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> very interesting. Hey, my friend. Can I buy you a drink? Can you buy me a drink? Oh, I'm all right. I'm all right. He's been. We've been chatting about this all morning. What time did you get here? I don't know. About six thirty. But um, I'm gonna go over because one thing I want to try is there. I guess they have a dining area to see and a microwave. I want to try microwave. They have a dining area and a microwave. Yeah, let's go Where? check it out. Let's go. All right, let's go check it out. Um, somebody was asking. Somebody was asking. Um, what What do you do? Where is it located? Right now, we're only in downtown Seattle, right next to Seattle headquarters. Oh, here's the dining area. Um, Somebody asking no workers. Now, if the largest employer, Walmart, adapts this, many Americans will be unemployed. Yeah, that is a big concern about that. Um, Amazon does employ a lot of people. However, this could be a threat to that. So what do you do? How do you make sure that people are being employed? We were talking about this, you and I. You're, you're a big tech fan. What do you think of the fact that this could put people out of work, potentially? It could, but... Um a lot of people point to the internet, put travel agents out of work, and no one would say, hey, the internet has stymied job growth, has been a barrier to improving quality of people's lives. We're creating a lot. It's just about how you distribute it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's not really a profession that's very enjoyable. A lot of people get chronic back pain. I mean, if you're a cashier all your life, that's a really tough profession, and the compensation's not that great. So I don't know if we want to preserve those jobs. We think it's just transitioning the jobs. And, Maybe we can get products cheaper now. That's what we really want. That's yeah. what Walmart's done. So, I mean, it is changing the environment. We're all adapting. We want things faster. I'm going to look in your bag. What did you get today? So, you got some oh. double shot espressos, which, my friend, I don't know if you need to. You are already awake. That's how you do the morning oh. in Seattle. Oh, my goodness. You got beer at 7 in the morning. Oh, yeah. It's for later, though, I promise. I <laughs> What did you, so what happened when you went to buy beer? I saw people checking IDs. Yeah, they check ID. Um, I was wondering about the time, but I guess, yeah, you can buy beer at any time in Seattle. I don't know. I didn't see any singles or 40s. I don't know if they're selling those at Amazon Go, but you know, you can get them at your neighborhood 7-Eleven if you desire. Yeah. Uh, Wesley just asked me, is this in all states? No, this is the first one right now. I just realized I forgot water, so I have to go back. Oh, I can't go back in because I'm using this for my QR code. So, um... I'm just gonna try to shoot. I'm from gonna the go outside. get you some water. Oh no, you don't have to. Oh, that's my buddy here. Um, here's some folks here. I hope I'm not in your way. Oh no, we're just no. doing a uh, Facebook Live. Did you? Are you enjoying the uh, the new store? Oh, we're loving it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, do you work in the area or do you live here? We work nearby. Oh, cool, cool. Um, what do you think of this, though? Really? I mean, is it a convenience thing or? Um. I love it. You I love think it's it? convenient, yes. It's about <laughs> as convenient as it gets. Right, right. It's very <laughs> true. Oh, oh, he even got me fancy water. You are too sweet. I really appreciate it. Um, this has been something that Amazon has worked on for, for a couple of years now, trying to get everything just right. One of the initial problems was how to track everything. Did you check? Because you said you picked up some things and then mm. put them back. Did you check to see if you want to see my receipt? Mm hmm So can you see the app real well? Yes. Can you show me your receipt? Well, I have my receipts right now. <laughs> and I've made multiple purchases. There's the trip time. It says one of them was 51 seconds, my first trip. Two items, the Amazon Go mug. I hope that's a collector's item. You might be able to find that on eBay later today. The first ever <laughs> Amazon Go mug. If someone wants to purchase that, some Elysian Space Dust. But I've, that water and these Starbucks aren't showing up yet. So I don't know. That is interesting. Oh, and wait. you literally, I remember I saw you walk in and then you walked right out literally less than a minute later. It kind of lived up to the slogan, just walk out shopping. But we're going to see if this it has to work on the back end with the receipts. If they're not getting cash for those items, I'm walking out. I don't know if it's sustainable. Yeah. Uh, people are asking, is this the first one? Yeah, this is the very first one. This is a big deal. Um, it could be the only one ever built. There have been some people saying, can this be replicated? Because if you look around, there's a lot of hardware, a lot of expenses. Yeah, I was showing people the, 
the kind of the, the, what looked like scanners or something. Yeah, I'm sure and that it's kind of a big Amazon secret. Think about the secret. hardware and the labor to install that. People talking about labor, cashiers losing jobs. Well, maybe it's just going to become to the infrastructure. And I don't know. We're going to find out if they're ever going to build a new one. It is interesting to see what they have. So, again, they have a full kitchen. I wish I could show. Um, I'm going to go outside and show the kitchen. Thank you for the water. Thanks for talking to us this morning. And we're going to go outside and show everybody how they have all these people working and making food. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. So here's all the folks outside. Hi, guys. They're so friendly here. Um, so these are all the folks in the kitchen working hard to make all the different wraps and foods that are going to be part of their lunch specials. There's a very full kitchen. I mean, you walk outside and you can just see that it goes on and on and on right here on 7th Avenue. And all these foods look pretty quality. Quality fresh ingredients. I mean, if I could stand out here and watch you, it better be good, right? So, again, you can see, I mean, this is pretty transparent. They have everything out here for you to see as they're cooking it here. Um, so let me give you a perspective. So we were at Blanchard and 7th. So this is kind of right near Amazon headquarters. This is where, you know, all the building that we've seen go on here at Amazon. And then you can see the Amazon Go line. When we first got here about two hours ago, there was really nobody around. Right before that opened, there was hundreds, about a hundred people waiting in line right here to get in for the first time to try this out. It's very exciting. Um, let's see here if we can walk around to show you and give you some perspective as to where we're at. So we're at 7th and Blanchard. Here's the Amazon Go. And right around the corner, and we're all in the bike lane today, I'm sure the cyclists really appreciate that. They're so patient all the time, those cyclists. Um, and here are the big Amazon spheres. Yes, I didn't say the other word. They are the spheres. So like I said, we are right near Amazon headquarters here. Um, Carrie's asking, is it just food? Carrie, so I went in, I looked for a couple essentials because, you know, I'm a mom. Sometimes I need, oh gosh, whatever you can imagine. I did find some Band-Aids. There's like a small section for just essentials, but they're very small. Like I said, this, this store is about the size of two 7-Elevens put together which kind of gives you an idea of how big it is. Um, and here's the outside right now. There's my friend Yuval who bought me that water. He's sitting there eating his breakfast. And um, overall, I mean, it's a pretty simple experience. So we will see. We will see if it goes well. Oh, Sarah just went in. Sarah, where are you? Where'd you go? I want to talk to you. Hi. We had a lot of media here. Look at all the media. There's a lot of media. Yeah. We're very popular. We to interview each other. Relax. I know. Did you just get that coffee? For oh, hello. <laughs> yeah. I know you from TV. <laughs> Never mind you. Is there, there's probably more media here than people, actually. Amazonians and media. We're Amazonians like, and we're like media. We're vultures on the, the actual newcomers. Oh, we my are. God. We're like, wait, you're Did not with me. Shop them? Let me talk to you. What do you got in your bag? You you okay. oh, um, Barbara, I'm in Seattle. Hold on. Erica, this is how it works. So I'll explain it. It's kind of interesting. So you get the Amazon Go app on your phone. Then it gives you a QR code associated with your account. Once you scan it, you just walk in, grab what you need, and literally walk out the door. Quite literally. Um, Amy, did you catch that? If you did not catch that, I'll explain it again. I wish I could show you. I could not find the uh, app on my phone initially this morning. I have an iPhone. And when you searched it, it just gave you the Amazon Prime Now app, which is only available in some locations. Um, then they fixed the bug. So basically, now you can just go under your, if you have an Apple phone, you just go in and usually the second or third option down, it'll give you the Amazon Go app. Make sure it says Amazon Go. If you have an Android, no problem. It popped up right away and uh, that wasn't an issue. But uh, overall, people don't seem to be having a problem with it so far. We did check that one customer's receipt. He seemed to be charged for a few things, maybe taking a little while. 
course we're going to follow up and find out how this worked out later today because the concern is, you know, if this works, this could be the future of shopping. If it doesn't, well, it'll probably still be the future of shopping, but it'll take a little bit longer. Uh, again, like I said, this was expected to open in 2017. That's what we initially reported at King's, but it didn't open until a little bit later. So it is now, though. January 22nd could be the day grocery shopping changed forever. Hopefully we'll get a look inside later, but um, yeah, if I'm not, gonna, talk to one other person you know. Is it open to the public, Debbie? Yes, it is open to the public. Uh, we all just got in for the first time. It had been open to Amazon employees as they were testing it as a beta store, but now any old person, oh, good, anybody can walk in. They let me in, you know what I mean? Do you have to scan in the items as you... No, you don't have to scan the items. You literally pick up whatever you want and just put it in your bag. And somehow the technology gods know what you have in your bag, which is pretty interesting. I showed the um, I showed the sensors when I was inside where I think that's what they're either visually watching uh, or doing something. So basically, that's all you have to do. It's so easy. What is the address? Um, not address. I know we're at Blanchard and Seth. I'm not sure what you So if you come downtown, you basically are right next to the big Amazon, the big balls. You know, the big Amazon ball, the Sphere, the new headquarters for, for Amazon. That's where you'll find it, right next door. Um, Hannah says it seems like a bad idea. Uh, Hannah, I have to say, you know, a lot of people are critical of this because what does this mean for jobs? Unfortunately, technology has kind of taken traditional labor jobs away, and I think we're only going to continue to see this. I'm sure at some point, robots going to be doing my job, probably soon, and I think. Um, basically, someone said, boosting heaven, uh, Shoplifters right. okay. dream. Great, great I think that the technology is smarter than shoplifters. I mean, if they know what you're doing, they can see it. It's one of those things that I'm sure that this is something that they've built into the system that they know that people are going to try because that is people. Uh, Joy, my job. Joy, I don't know. What what do you do? Do you work um, in the grocery store community? Let's remove all jobs for humans. Uh, Carolina, yes, I did go inside the store. I bought, what did I buy here? Here, this is my bag. I bought a muffin and, and some cheese. Don't ask, very strange. Um, basically, the cool thing about this Amazon Go, which is the only one right now, is that they have a lot of local selections. So hopefully in the future, if they do expand, they'll identify local bakeries, local food eateries in either any city they're in and hopefully incorporate that into an Amazon Go. That could be a way to continue to create jobs. Um, how does it work? How do you pay, Natalie, Norma? It's not a chip, it's a QR code. So once you download the app on your phone, a QR code pops up that is linked to your Amazon account and it just automatically deducts it from you. Uh, Jimmy says this is not gonna last, it is in Seattle, we'll see. Please send someone without the app and see what happens. You can't get in the store without the app. It won't let you. Um, I'm gonna try to walk around. I don't wanna walk in front of any of these cameras here. But basically, there's a there's a door. So if you don't have the app, you're not getting through those doors. And it'll say no. Red, you cannot get in. Are the orange bags a requirement or can you use your own bags? No, I think you can use your own bags. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure that you can use your own bags. Just, these are just like nice little souvenir bags they're handing out. And I think that they have them here at the store as well. In Seattle, we have a, a law that says they have to charge you like 10 cents for every bag that you don't own. So I'm sure they're having to be very open to it. Um, Jim, how are we doing on time? Uh, I just did a live picture. Oh, you did? Okay, so it's uh, You have a half hour. Hey, hi, Jim, everybody. Hola. So, Jim, have you gone in yet? No, I've been working. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Um, what have you seen so far? Do you think people are pretty excited about this? Sure seem to be. There's a lot of people coming and going, a lot of people taking pictures, doing selfies, doing their you know, Facebook Live or whatever Periscope we've had. But yeah, a lot of, uh, I think a lot of people just want to try it out and see what it looks like and uh, try the food out. And... 
Jimmy's asking, if you pick up an item, does it charge you right away? I'm assuming it waits a second because of the fact that uh, if you pick up an item and put it back, it says it will not charge your virtual cart. I tried that, so I picked up an item, put it back, but I haven't checked my cart because I'm currently using my phone for this Facebook Live. Oh, thanks King5. You guys see that? That's the address. That's where the store is located, 2131 7th Avenue. Uh, I think everybody's doing it. Everyone's trying. They put, pick something up, put it back down, and see if it's going to hurt. Yeah. Hopefully Amazon doesn't get a lot of complaints today. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I want to get back inside, but I need to... You got to scan it. Again. I got to scan it, and I can't do that with the... Uh, thing. Oh, wait a minute. I think somebody from Geekwire here. Are you a GeekWire? I am, yeah. Oh my gosh, can I talk to you for a yeah, second? Sure. Okay, so hey, hey, he's okay. working too. Now I gotta yeah. bug him. Hi, I'm Amity. Yeah, hi, it's good to see you. Nice to Talk see to you. Yeah. Okay, so these guys have been following GeekWire, if I don't if you guys don't know, have been following this since the inception. And remind me, this was supposed to open last year, right? It was. It was originally announced in late 2016 and they said it would open in early 2017. And it was essentially pushed back by a year. So Amazon insists that it was not because of technical difficulties. When we talked to them last week, they said it's because they had enough internal employee testers to really make it work in terms of the scale that they needed to test right. the system. Right, right. I don't know, I don't know how, how much you believe that or not, but no that, that's, technical that's what they insist. Um, so what did you think when you went in there? It's, so far, it's worked pretty seamlessly. Yeah. yeah. Do you know, okay, so I'm just trying to find out how, how are they tracking everyone? Did you see the sensors yeah. in the panel? Is that what they're doing? Yeah, so there's two ways that they're tracking it. There are sensors overhead, there are cameras that are color cameras and depth sensors overhead. And then in the shelves themselves, there are small weight sensors. So those things all work together in conjunction with one another to essentially know when an individual person picks something off of the shelf. And people have been like, this is a dream for shoplifters, but that's not really an option, right? Right because you have to scan yourself in to get into the store. There's somebody watching whether or not you do that. There's gates that allow you to get in or out. Yeah. And so essentially, uh, the whole idea is that you, know, you are not able to shop with because you're able to- Because the boom, boom, bust you. you. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, I got, so I tested it a little bit. I, I took one type of salad off the shelf and then replaced it, put it back and tried another one. And so I got the jerk chicken salad for lunch. Did you check your- your... Yeah, I, I have. You know, my connectivity is not that great. Yeah, so. neither is mine down here for some reason. Okay. Um, that is pretty cool. So somebody's now saying a shoplifter's nightmare. That is very true. Yeah. Thank you so yep, much. No Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to have to wrap this up because uh, I have to talk about this more on TV. So you can always go to king5.com or you can watch it on your mobile app, King 5's mobile app. Um, it's called a dual screen experience, I've been told. Um, Lisa, yeah, no, if you don't have a smartphone, you can't shop here. As a matter of fact, if you don't have a relatively recent smartphone, I'm understanding that you can't shop here as well because it needs to be a more recent smartphone. Um, I can't wait to try it on my lunch break. Oh, cool, Teresa. Send some pictures if you do. Um, so I'd like to see it. You have to get, um, you have to get, oops, sorry, I unpinned someone. You have to get the app that is right. All right, guys. Um, Hey, thanks so much for asking these intelligent questions and uh, shopping with me today. Uh, I encourage you to come on down and check it out. I mean, it's really like unlike anything you will ever experience. Will it last? We shall see. Only time will tell if we are going to start to see Amazon goes all over the country. You know what could really help them? Maybe their version of a Slurpee. I mean, I've worked for 7-Eleven and I'm sure 7-Eleven is concerned about stores like this. Well, hey, everybody, have a great day. Um, Cassandra, really quickly ask, answer your question. Um, they sell a little more than food, not a whole lot. They had a small section that had Band-Aids and a couple other essential items, but um, uh, some various things, but mostly food. And the bulk of what they've got in here right now, which could change, is the food that they're making in the little kitchen, in the rather large kitchen, actually, that they have here. Okay, I gotta go. Have a great day. Happy shopping! Bye! Wait, how do we go?